my name is Amber Smith, and I would absolutely love to share my story with you today. So, I've been through a lot <laughs> growing up, and not just growing up, but as a mom as well. And a lot of these things have stemmed from my childhood as well. So, my story begins with confidence. Um, I have struggled so much with being confident as a girl, as a woman, as a mom, and over the last year I have just been, that has been my platform of confidence and self-worth and loving yourself for who God had intended you to be. Um, you know, just there's just certain things growing up that just happens, like friends. I mean, friends were just so hard for me to come by. I was always pushed away by the people who I thought were my friends. Um, I got made fun of for the things that I wore, or I wasn't skinny enough, and that just, you know, that hurt. That hurt so, so much. And, of course, as you get older, you start to have these thoughts and ideas in your head that I am not good enough. And um, so as time passed, you know, I just, I had these feelings about myself that I just was not good enough. And then I had my first son, and, um, and then I had my second son, and that's when my world just collapsed, was when I had my second son. Um, I got <clears throat> postpartum depression really, really bad. And that is just when everything just came colliding down. Just my, my worth, my confidence, the things that I grew up with. Um, I also grew up with parents that were overweight and obese. And, and health and fitness has been a huge part of my life. And helping me build that confidence as well. So after I was... Um, had my first son or my second son and um, I got postpartum depression I I lost myself and I did not who I was supposed to be I felt nothing um, I started therapy because my, my family and friends told me that hey and I, I knew that something was wrong I just didn't want to admit it so I went and saw a therapist, and from then on, I just started working on me, myself, and building myself up as a person. Um, in today's society, we get so caught up in these beliefs and ideas of the person that we need to be, um, you know, as a mom. I mean, if our house isn't picture perfect that came out of a potty, pottery barn, magazine or our bodies aren't airbrushed and we're just not or we don't have these things all the things you know that make us instagram worthy and it really can make us as moms as women feel bad and um that is just something that i am consistently working on is not comparing myself to others i mean i have businesses and 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 it just is so hard not to compare yourself to others. So that has just been my my platform, my belief that we are all who we were intended to be. That we each have an individual purpose to live by, and that we need to live by that purpose. And um, I have just let go of those things from the past, and just been really working on myself for who I am now and who I want to become in the future and over all this time I have just felt so much better about myself who I am becoming um, I'm stronger inside and out um, I have been able to inspire people around me my family um, you know I've inspired my family wanting to become better and that just right there makes a world of difference and being an example to your kids. So that is my story today that I wanted to share with you. Um, and 
I am so grateful for this opportunity to be an advocate for self-love and self-worth and that we are enough.